Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video today, we will be speaking about how to apply for visa for South Africa. And as always, we will be explaining everything, starting with the visa policy of South Africa. After that, how to apply and all the processes of the application. And in the end, we will be speaking about all the required documents that you will be needing while applying for the visa of South Africa. Africa. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours. So if we will look together at uh, the visa policy map of South Africa, we will find that there are many countries that can have a visa free access to South Africa uh, without uh, applying for visa at all like uh, most of the countries of North America United States Canada many countries in South uh, America like uh, Brazil Argentina all the uh, Af the European countries the Schengen area Russia Australia and many countries near bordering uh, South Africa like Botswana for example and Saudi Arabia and other countries like Saudi Arabia those countries can have access for South Africa for 90 days. A country like Turkey, for example, uh, they got access for South Africa for uh, 30 days without any visa, but there are some countries that can apply for e visa for South Africa if they are going to land at OR Tambo International Airport and those countries are Cameroon, China, Democratic Republic of the, King of the Congo, uh, Egypt, Ethiopia, India, Iran, Kenya, Mexico, Nigeria, Pakistan, Philippines, Saudi Arabia, I don't know, about, they can also apply in case you are applying from Saudi Arabia or something, uh, Uganda, and for the rest of the world, you will have to apply uh, for visa from the diplomatic mission of South Africa inside your own country. So even if we said that e-visas will be available for Cameroon, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, India, Pakistan, Ethiopia, and Egypt. But till this moment, there is no official website for, for applying for the e-visa as it is planned to be uh, to start in March 2022 and, uh, and still no confirmation. So the only way for the countries who need visa is to apply uh, through the uh, through the embassy, through the embassy or through the official uh, offices for visas in their own country and we will learn now how to do that so starting together with the uh, official application form for applying for visa for South Africa this is the official application form I will tell you from where exactly you can download it after downloading it you will have to print it and uh, after printing it you have to fill it manually starting with the surname first name and fill uh, maiden name previous surname if exists, date of birth, country of birth, then you will have to fill the gender, nationality, where and when was present nationality obtained, and in the next section, passport and travel document number, issue date, expiry date, and type of the document, ordinary or diplomatic, permanent, permanent res uh, residential address, and after that, country of permanent uh, residence, telephone number, and all your address details, home number, uh, email address, uh, occupation or profession, and name of uh, employer, university organization, or wherever you work. After that, your marital status, married, divorced, uh, single, and the name of your uh, suppose if exists after that the visit to south africa like you are expecting to visit from that date to that date the place of arrival uh, the purpose of the uh, visit the number of entries required and your address inside uh, south uh, africa uh, the name of the hotel is a phone number of the hotel and name of organizations or persons or persons you will be contacting during your stay in the republic if exists please uh, fill it and you will have to answer some security questions like have have you at any time uh, applied for a permit to settle permanently in the republic or have you ever been restricted or refused or have you committed any crime you will just answer all these questions by yes or no depending on your situation and in the end 
you will fill uh, the declaration and after filling the declaration in the end you will have to fill the date and to fill the signature and after filling all the details in uh, this uh, form there's also another uh, uh, paper here for all the documents that you will need which like uh, the valid passport the proof of sufficient funds like bank statement we will be speaking about all these details in the end proof of a valid return uh, or onward ticket uh, or uh, uh, a booking of a hotel where the applicant is attending an activity or event a letter from the organization uh, and if you are a minor or something and all these things in respect of medical treatment for period not extending three months so what you will need regarding to that you will need like a medical insurance in respect uh, uh, no if you are applying for any medical treatment or something if your travel is for receiving uh, medical treatment inside the republic itself you will have to check your conditions or if you are traveling for the purpose of studying you will have to check your conditions so after filling this application you will be ready to submit this application along with all the required documents in the office or in the uh, south african embassy in your country and let me tell you how so in many cases you can use vfs global offices to apply for the south african uh, visa if you're applying from Angola, Botswana, China, India, Iran or Pakistan for example a country like Egypt they don't have offices but you can contact uh, directly the embassy of South Africa in your country and you can apply directly through the embassy but if you're applying for example through VFS Global let's choose India for example take me to uh, their website all right and click apply for the visa so after Id identifying your visa type beginning your application booking your appointment you have to book an appointment by clicking book an appointment and here you will have to click book an appointment book now and you will create an account on vfs global and you choose the center where you will be conducting the meeting and also the timing and in uh, that uh, there you will have to base the application fees and here for example if you are going for a holiday so this will be uh, visa and logistic fee fees okay so for, for foreign national for Indian nationality visa fees will be uh, for okay visa fees will be granted for all Indian nationalities but for foreign nationalities it will be that number and VFS logistic fees will be that number in indian rubies and of course the number the price will change depending uh, on your country uh, uh, so after that you will have to visit the visa application center you will visit the visa application center with all your documents and there you will submit the documents they will review the documents with you and they will uh, take uh, also the payment the service uh, fees from you and then you will be able to track your application from vfs global website and in the end you can collect your passport after the visa is finally issued for you and uh, in the next section we will be speaking about all the required documents that you will be needing in general while applying for visa for south africa speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa the first document is your passport speaking about the passport the passport must be original the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps number two you will need a photocopy of your passport the passport photocopy is recommended to be colored must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated number three you will need personal pictures for the personal picture you will need two pictures not older than six months clear shows full face with white background and shows neutral expressions no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form 
it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed then filled then signed its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video number five you will need a proof of status for the proof of status it varies if you are an employee or work in a company you will need a letter from an employer or hr office or your sponsor stating designation the date of employment the salary the period of stay purpose of visit and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned the letter must have an original signature and a stamp but if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented and if you are a student in a school or college enrollment letter should be provided number six for foreigners you will need a legal residence permit if you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence employment or student status or other valid certificates of legal stay provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located number seven you will need a proof of funds you will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay a bank statement for the last six months showing regular income the original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds in case you don't have a bank account a proof of any assets can also be presented number eight you will need a flight reservation the flight reservation is also an important document a primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented including the return trip and in some cases for some countries this flight ticket must be confirmed number nine you will need a proof of accommodation you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay it should be a confirmed hotel reservation the confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel guest house and clearly state the visa applicant's full name dates of accommodation the hotel address and the contact details in case you don't have a hotel reservation you will need an invitation by the office of citizenship and migration affairs or invitation from a host the host can be company friends family and it should indicate the address of accommodation and those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place number 10 you will need a health insurance certificate in many cases you will need a travel insurance certificate especially for schengen countries it should be covering the whole period of stay including the information on terms and conditions the insurance should cover all medical expenses including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the schengen area covering at least 30,000 euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.